hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So today I wanted to go ahead and jump on into my Death Knight build for you guys. Now this character has been, it's actually level 73 already, and I actually use Ravenous Earth to level, you can see it on the screen there. Uh, just to go through a simple build guide of it, you literally just get Ravenous Earth with Decay and Foul Eruption. And then you want to just get a weapon with Vitality Damage and Ravenous Earth, and literally that's it. It's an OP skill. So this is the Death Knight that I want to show you guys. Uh, it's really difficult to level as like a physical conversion build. It's a physical converted to Vitality Damage build. Um, so the first thing I'm going to go ahead and do is show you. You don't need all these elites or all these fancy legendaries at the beginning to get it going. Um, but this is just what I had left over in my stash. You do kind of need to have some type of conversion weapon and ideally a Maw of the Damned. This is not really a build you want to start off like level one with because it's a conversion build. If you want to do stuff like that, I'd highly recommend playing like casters instead. But anyway, um, just to give you guys a little gist of it, here you go. I just swapped into Manticore recently, so it's actually only level seven of 20. Uh, and we have also Ratosh, so those are our two shreds. We minus their Vitality Res with Will of Ratosh, and we lower their resistance overall with Manticore, and then whenever we get hit, we have a buff on us called Spectral Binding, which applies our Spectral Wrath. So I'm gonna go over my buffs, I'm gonna show you guys some combat, and then we'll go over the build. So Spectral Wrath, number one, or sorry, Binding, first buff. It's basically just life uh, and offensive ability, and it's really good because you get Spectral Wraith, or Wrath, gotta keep confusing them, which reduces their Vitality Res. You've got Field Command, which is very strong because Field Command gives you flat offense and defensive ability along with percentage armor, and it goes into Squad Tactics, which gives you global damage increase and percentage attack speed scaling, which is very important. We have Harbinger of Souls, which is our Necromancer exclusive, gives us Vitality Damage Decay, which is okay, uh, Vitality Damage, uh, and then we get 12% of attack damage converted to health. That's very, very good leech. And then we get Physical Conversion, which is what we need for the build. Uh, we also have Death Chill Aura, which is coming from our Death Chill Relic. It's a Transcendent Relic, so it's not a Mythical Relic at all. And then our last one comes from our chess piece that I found, which is actually a very good chess piece called Dread Armor of Azragor, which gives us, you can see at the bottom, Azragorian Tactics, I think it's called, which gives you Flat Vitality, Leech Chaos Res, and Vitality Retaliation. Our main skill is going to be Cadence for this. Um, so I've got Cadence here. You can see it does 428 weapon damage. And it's going to be supported with our procs, so Markovian's Advantage, along with Zolhan's Technique. And then later on, I'll go into Necrotic Edge. I don't have much in a Reaping Strike just because I have pretty good Leech as it is. So let me go ahead and show you guys one of the. I think this is an Act Boss. I always like to test my like characters on this like Queen Scarab person. So we're going to use Blitz for mobility since it helps us get around really quickly. Whenever you get to your rares or your tanky dudes, you basically will auto them down and you'll be spamming your, your uh, Maw of the Damned skill which gives you Hungering Maw, which is this skill that we have down here. And Hungering Maw, which is this smack, has a chance of proccing the Manticore Poison that you can, well, you'll see it proc every so often. And the Manticore Poison lowers their res while they're in it. Now currently with this build, with sort of un pretty unoptimized gear, because I'm not even 94, so I can't even get like the highest tier of stuff. I don't have a set bonus or anything, it's all just kind of random pieces put together. Uh, we are currently running at, let me see, where's physical damage here? 32% lifesteal with just no proc, so that's just natural lifesteal. Where is Miss Queen Girl? I also do not have uh, any like components in any of my armor. I just have like basic components on my gear right now. Uh, so on my weapons and shield, and then on my accessories. I don't remember where she is exactly. I'm gonna guess here, here, here. Did I just like debate that end myself? No, no, we're good. 
So now the other thing that's cool about this character is this is actually a shield character and we're going to end up getting, so right now I think I'm 58% block chance. Sorry, I'm 62% block chance with 1k damage blocked. Uh, that damage block will go probably like three to 4,000 uh, later on. And I can talk about that if I make like a future update video for this character because I don't really want to talk about that necessarily right now. That'll make the video last like 30 minutes if I try to cover everything. No. Wow, I'm like really bad at trying to find her. Is she over here? Oh, Miss Queen, where are you? Remember that a lot of your AoE damage does come from your weapon procs. Uh, the other one is just like, I have like really minor amounts of retaliation uh, along with some like on proc hits from my legendary gear. Can she be up here? She has to be up here, right? No? Uh-oh. Uh-oh! We're gonna find her, boys. Don't worry, I promise. Oh, there she is. We got her. Nice. Now also, this character has very, very poopy resistances, uh, which is actually very good because it helps demonstrate uh, how much leech the character actually has with like the damage it has. So 31 fire, like you can see, is pretty shit resist to be honest, except for vitality and chaos. Now of course you can always make up for that, don't think that your build is going to be like that just because that's how mine is. Uh, I'm just kind of like really tired right now and not really prioritizing anything. I haven't died. I haven't even... I mean, I've definitely come close to being in, like a retard standing still and stuff, but... Uh, shields in general just make you very, very tanky. I'm actually gonna stand still here and see if I can show you. So I'm not gonna turn on my overguard. I don't know if these guys can hurt me enough. Okay, they do quite a bit. Nope, the sigil is too strong. I'll try to try to like show it on a hero mob. Oh, here we go, here we go, perfect. Okay. Uh... Okay, I'm gonna hit now. And then remember that every third hit you have Cadence proc as well, which will like super amplify the damage, which will like top you off immediately. So some other cool synergy. Right now I don't have Targo, I'm building back into him. Uh, this will be supported with Blitz, which is Shield Wall. Uh, you can see it increases your armor and gives you shield damage blocked. That's really cool because it gets an 85% chance, so you basically charge in with your Blitz smack a mob, and you automatically start mitigating more damage. Oh, you know, I did not mean to do that. I always, like, hold my right click over the screen so I can just, like, off-screen charge things. Oh, wait, I actually need to go that way. Just kidding. I knew that. I knew that, team.
Or might have discard. But yeah, ever since I transitioned to uh, the setup I'm using now, which I think was level 68, maybe a little lower, I think 68 is when I went melee, uh, I pretty much became like super tanky. Of course, endgame may be a little more difficult than this because I am going to have to gear up, but like it's, it's pretty face roll at this moment or at this current point in time, which is pretty awesome. And as long as you get your resistances up, you should be pretty face roll majority of the time, except to like shotgunning and stuff. I am concerned with how the damage will be late game though. I just have absolutely no clue because you know I haven't really played enough Grim Dawn to see. But I don't believe I get full vitality conversion. So I think worst case scenario if the character ends up too tanky and doesn't do enough damage. There's a mythical version of this called Edge of Death. Well mythical Edge of Death. And you can actually craft it because it's a recipe which is great. Because what that means is that I can just dual wield weapons. Um, and hopefully by dual wielding weapons, I can get like just more damage out of using a shield. And then I can redo my devotions on top of that. So that should give me like a good alternative. But it, as it stands, Maw of the Damned is actually the only shield in the game that's legendary. I think and even ep I don't even think there's an epic that gives you um, physical conversion to vitality. And unfortunately, it does have like a cultist in it and it doesn't have life, so that's the one downside of the shield. The other thing is the build has like really nice ramp up damage because of all the debuffs. You have like the Manticore debuff, uh, you have the debuff so basically whenever she hits me she see that little skull on her. That skull is the debuff from, uh, what is it, the, that's the debuff from Spectral Wrath. You have Markovian's advantage which reduces her defensive ability which is very nice. Um, what else do we have here? And then just in general cadence every three hits. Um, so it's pretty cool seeing the ramp up of like the whole character go. Which I think hopefully will make it very good for bossing. I think there's even... Do I have another proc here somewhere? I think I have another proc here somewhere. Somewhere. I'll get more procs, I know that. It's like all over the gear. Uh, so that's pretty much the character. I just wanted to show you guys a bit of demonstration. Again, if you want to level, you can try to level however you'd like. I personally tried leveling as physical conversion, and because there was just no physical to vitality conversion early in the game, it was just very difficult for me. So I just decided to go Ravenous Earth, and like I said, it's very strong of a skill. Um, Ravenous Earth can shotgun, so if you drop it on top of a boss, it just hits multiple times and completely destroys everything and then you just go tank mode because you just take all the defensive things in soldier uh, and then whenever you're ready like personally i would try to at least get like your weapon and your shield and then you know weapon and shield and you can pretty much convert over but you need to have some type of conversion or else in my opinion it's just not really going to work out very well your stats are pretty much all physique you're going to need quite a bit of cunning though for your weapon um but yeah that's pretty much about it for our devotions, uh, to cover them again, uh, I have Bat. This is probably the one thing I really don't like right now. And I have Spider, but Spider is for like grabbing uh, Ratosh. Ratosh is good because he gives us anything that you can get that has like negative resistance is amazing. Assuming they all stack, all I believe, you know, I'm not even going to talk about how they all stack. There's spreadsheets you guys can find because it's really complicated in this game, but. Uh, one of the best ways to scale damage in Grimdon is like 
crit multi, which is through offensive ability, percentage scaling of your main stat, so in this case it would be vitality and then secondary physical, and then minusing resistance. Minusing resistance is like super, super, super good for you. Um, and then yeah, so in terms of defenses right now, we're going to pick up Targo. So we get to complete Targo, which is great because then we get Shield Wall. Uh, and Shield Wall is amazing because like I said, when we charge in, we get the armor buff and it increases the amount that our shield blocks. Then we get to do Shield Maiden and complete through here to get shield damage blocked. Shield damage block reduced stun duration, same thing. Um, and then I think that's pretty much it for my devotions because we have 10 points left. So that's pretty much it. I hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. Uh, remember, if you did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And remember, you can catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv slash pox. By the way, if you made it to the end of the video, let me know what you guys think of the new webcam. I messed around and tweaked some settings, which is why I went like full screen at the beginning. Uh, this is actually the same webcam I use. I've been using for the past like five videos, but I actually went through and like toggled around with the settings um, to try to get it more like crystal clear like it is right now. So appreciate the feedback. Uh, you guys let me know what you think. And again, stay classy, everybody. I'll see you boys all tomorrow. Take care.